the at this one this is exactly the experiment that they do to get different values of i with the corresponding r let's say you have x y z and then you have the corresponding a b c so you plot or you calculate sine x over sine a and you realize one striking similarity the values are the same for all of this okay so they found a relationship so if you can prepare a ray box and then uh, some kind of single slit pass through the light with a certain angle you record x record x first and then you get the corresponding r and then you get you you turn a bit maybe you turn down turn this down so you get another angle y so you get b as a result and then you turn again probably you get z so you get c as a result so when you plot sine i over sine r or you put the values in you realize that they have a constant value okay you know why they use a semicircular glass block because the ray that comes out is actually 90 degrees here there's a tangent line here see the ray that comes out if you straight line it's easier for us to use pencil to put a dot here just now pencil put a dot here just now pencil put a dot here it helps us to draw after we take out the semicircular block once we take out the semicircular block we can draw the line here to here and then line here to here and then we try again we probably can use another color so maybe your ray box is here but your this thing you remain here and then probably bigger okay so it will be further away maybe so it is somewhere here maybe so you can draw draw and then you try another color maybe here then you can probably get here here so you connect connect and then you calculate the angle and you have proven the experiment